Okay. So now we move on to question number six. Okay, so uh, question number six in exercise six B. A fair coin is flipped repeatedly until a head appears or three flips have been made. The random variable capital T represents the number of flips of the coin. Can you see? So you flip one. So basically what they're trying to say here is they're flipping the coin repeatedly until a head appears. Can you see? So, I, so either you flip it once and immediately you get head, which means you stop. Or you can flip it. Uh, why, why do you flip twice? Here the random variable t represents the number of times you flip the coin. So you flip twice What if, in the event of what? If the first is tail and then the second is a head. And then you stop. And then how do you go for the third, uh, third go? The first, the first two times are tail. And the third is a head. Is that the only option? No, right? Because they are saying anyway they stop, regardless whether a head appears or not, you will stop, uh, you will flip repeatedly if you don't get he uh, head. Anyway, you will stop in three goes, right? So you see, until three flips have been made. So in this last option, you could have two tails and one head, or it could even be three tails. Even three tails. Okay? Okay, so the experiment says that they are going to go only until three flips. This is the game. The game decides that uh, the, the, at the beginning, we have decided that we will only go for three flips. Maximum you'll go is three flips, not more. This is clear. Okay, so show that the probability distribution of E is this. Okay, they're asking you to show that it is <coughs> this. Okay, let's get it done. So one flip. So T equal one means what? It means you simply get a head, right? Immediately you get a head, which means you're done. Okay, so let's write the probability. What's the probability of getting a head in a, a fair coin? Half. T equals two. How do you get T equals two? Obviously, first time you get a tail. And second time you get a head. So tail probability is half. First you get a tail, that's a half. And again, getting a head is half. So half into half is one over four. This is clear. That's the only way to get T equal to. Okay, to get t equal three, as I as I just explained you a moment ago, there are two options. What are the two options? First is you could get tail, tail, head. Okay, so that is half into half into half, which is one over eight. The other option is tail, tail, tail. Isn't it? Because even if you get three tails, anyway you stop from it. Okay, so you get half into half into half, which is again one over eight. And what do you do? Since both of these options are valid parts, you need to add the two probabilities. So when you add the two probabilities, what do you get? One over eight plus one over eight is two over eight, which is one over four. So can you see that we get this probability? So now you can make the probability distribution for T values. So T values can be one, two, and three. And probability capital T equals simple T for one, T equal one, the probability is half, for T equal two, the probability is one over four, for T equal three, the probability is one over four. So this is the probability distribution. All right. All right, so expected value of T in part B, they're asking you to find the expected value and the variance of T. So expected value of T is you take the summation. Normally we take like expected value of X is uh, summation of uh, the product of X into probability. So over here, since it's expected value of T, it should be the summation of T into probability of T. You multiply the T value with its respective probability. So the first T value is one, you multiply with half, Plus the second T value is two, you multiply by one over four. Next T value is three, you multiply by one over four. So one into half is half, two into one over four is also half, three into uh, one over four is three over four. What is the uh, simplified answer? Seven over four. Then uh, the variance T, how do you find the variance T? To find variance T, you'll have to find E T square. 
Isn't it? Because you recall the variance uh, t equation, variance x equation, e x square minus e x whole thing square. So first you'll have to get, uh, to get variance, so you'll have to get e t square. So that is summation t square into probability of t equals to t. So t square means you square the t value. So one, this is one square. So you square the t value and then multiply it with the probability. You don't square the probability, okay? You only square the t value. Plus the next one, two square into one over four. Plus three square into one over four. Can you see? You square the t value, multiply with the respective probability. So what do you get here? One square into one over two is half. Two square into one over four, that's two. Uh, four into one over four, that's a one. Three square into one over four, that's nine into one over four, that's nine over four. How much does it simplify to give you? 15 over 4. So now we get variance t. Variance t equals to e t square minus e t, the expected value, whole thing square. And then e t square equals, uh, so we just found that 15 over 4. Minus expected value of t, that's 7 over 4, whole thing square. Do you agree? All right, so how much is the answer? 15 over 4 minus 7 over 4, whole thing square. What do we get? 11 over 16. So this is the variance of t. Okay, so next I will move to question number 7. Uh, the random variable x has a probability distribution given by, so the x values are 1, 2, 3, and the respective probabilities are a, b, and a. <coughs> they are asking you, uh, write down an expression for e, x in terms of a and b. So how do you write the expression for e, x? Expected value of x is, you multiply, you take the sum of x into probability of x, right? So let's multiply 1 into A plus the next one, 2 into B, next one, 3 into A. Do you agree? We get here A plus 2 plus, uh, sorry, A plus 2B plus 3A. So 3A plus A, that's 4A plus 2B. Do you agree? All right, and then uh, so part A, write down expression for EX in terms of A and B, that's done. Part B, given that variance X is 0 0.75, they're asking you to find the values of A and B. <coughs> okay, so how do you get the values of A and B? The first thing is you need to also make use of the fact that in a probability distribution, the total probability is what? In the probability distribution, the total probability adds up to one. So you can write here a plus b plus a is equal to one. This is something that we can uh, just to make things easier. So I get here 2a plus b is actually equal to one. So this is one equation that I can use. I'm trying to find variance x, right? Given that variance x is 0 0.75, they are asking us to get the values of a and b. Now, if you try it now, you know variance x is equal to, right? We know variance x is equal to e x whole thing uh, sorry e x square minus e x whole thing square right now i think you can see if you try to get e x square here you are going to again create another equation with a and b right and actually when you use uh, i mean when you get the e x square i mean e x whole thing square you're going to square 4a plus 2b here isn't it and that's going to create a big quadratic equation in a and b when once you square 4a plus 2b so instead of going down in that path Okay, let me uh, give you some help here. So we can do something like, we know EX is 4A plus 2B, isn't it? Now, uh, what can I do here? I can take out a factor of two. Can you say I can take out a factor of two? What do you get here? And take two, what do you get? 2A plus B. Guys, who is 2A plus B? We know 2A plus B is one. So which gives us here two times one and the expected value actually becomes two. Can you see? So EX is actually now 2, which makes things a lot easier for us. So now other thing is I want to get the value of A and B. I want to create actually two equations. One equation for A with A and B is 2A plus B equals 1. I'm going to create the other equation by using this expression, but I need to know the value of EX square. 
So e x square I will find in terms of the uh, with the with the with the probable distribution. So e x square how do you find it's summation x square into probability of x. So x square is so you square the x value and the probability one square into a plus two square into b plus three square into a. Guys, do you agree? You square the x value and multiply with the probability. So we get here one square into a is one a, two square into a, that's four b, three square into a is nine a. Nine a plus a is ten a plus four b. Guys, do you agree? Ten a plus four b. So this is the e x square value. So everything is ready. All we need to do is to substitute that into this equation. Variance x is 0 0.75 e x square. We just found it as 10 a plus 4 b e x. The expected value, as you can see, it's equal to 2 now because we got it. So it's 2 and it's square of 2, right? You have to square it. So 0 0.75 equals 10 a plus 4 b minus 4. Guys, uh, so I'll take the minus 4 here as plus 4. 0.75 plus 4 gives me 4.75 equals to 10a plus 4b. Can you see? So this can be our second equation. And now you can you can see that we have two equations that are easy to deal with because they are both uh, linear simultaneous equations. So it's really easy to work with it. So now let's solve these two equations simultaneously and get the values of a and b. All right, so time to solve the equation simultaneously. I think uh, one of the easiest things we could do here is to maybe make B the subject from equation one and substituting it to equation two, shall we? So if I take equation number one, two A plus B is equal to one, which gives me B equals to one minus two A. So let's substitute that value into our second equation. 4.75 equals 10 A plus four B. So 4.75 equals 10a plus 4 times be. So inside brackets, 1 minus 2a. <clears throat> so 4.75 equals 10a plus 4 into 1 is 4 minus 4 into 2 is 8a. Guys, do you agree? So 4.75, I'll take the minus 4 here. 10a minus 8a is 2a. 4.75 divided minus 4 is 0.75 equals 2a. So uh, a equals 0.75 divided by 2 is 0 0.375. a is 0 0.375. Let's substitute and get the b value. b is 1 minus 2a. So 1 minus 2 times 0 0.375, twice of 0.375 is uh, 0 0.75, 1 minus 0 0.75, that's 0 0.25. So this is the A and B value. Okay.